Welcome to our video about an introduction to Timeline. So a Timeline is a collaboration feature within Yellowfin that allows you to be able to track exactly what you've been interacting with and what your co-workers have been interacting with. And I can easily access Timeline by just clicking on the menu on the left hand side and click on your name and therefore I can see a bunch of sort of my options available. So I'm going to go to my Timeline. And so from the timeline, this is all about sort of tracking your activity within Yellowfin. And that activity can be everything from what you've been viewing. So here's some reports and dashboards I've been recently viewing, um, his tasks I've created, comments, any content that I've been creating and so forth as well would all appear here. And it's very similar to like having your Facebook feed coming through and you're getting, here's everything your friends have been doing and here's what you've been doing. Now all of these are little links, so you know you could click on any of these tasks and see more about it, or same with the comments and so forth, or if you actually click on like a report name, it would link you out to the report. Now I just wanted to sort of highlight a few major features or a few features that are available here. So it's really easy for you to be able to search your timeline. If you're trying to track something in particular, you could sort of search for that key word and sort of focus in on anything that's including that word to try to find what you were looking for. Otherwise you could easily filter down the posts. So rather than looking at all posts, maybe I just want to focus on the tasks that have been surrounding me or whether I've created them or whether they've been assigned to me. Or perhaps I'm looking at, you know, discussion streams and decisions and so forth. Perhaps I want to filter it down to the priority. So in Yellowfin, all these tasks can be assigned like a priority. So, you know, I can definitely focus on, you know, what's the high priorities at the moment. So I can then also filter down on status. So I could say, you know, show me all of the ones that are assigned, they're not yet started. And I could filter it down to if they're flagged or not. So if they're flagged as important, and then I can also filter that. You've got a little icon here to be able to reset all those filters. So that'll just roll me back to my normal view. Now there is also the ability to be able to change the layout. So by default, this is my timeline layout. There was a previous video which showed you the task management layout as well. And lastly, this little person icon just sort of shows you your connections. So these are people in particular that I follow and I'm interested in what they're doing. And so therefore you'll notice that I sometimes actually see things like, you know, here's Glenn's out of this new dashboard and Martin's doing this and Dan's doing that. So, and that's so similar to Facebook, you know, I can track what they're up to and what they're reading, what's important to them. So with connections, you can easily add new connections. So these are by default, just my connections. And if I change this to say, show me all people, this allows me to see other people within this Yellowfin environment and I can decide to follow them as well and connect with them. For anyone coming from an older version of Yellowfin into the new layout here, you know, there's a lot of new options and there's also some that are may appear to be missing. They're just accessible from this left-hand menu. So for example, if you wanted to track, you know, your favorite content, you could come across and look at all your favorites, discussions and dashboards and everything that you're following. You could also look at all of your draft content really easily similar to also filtering down from this section as well. Very commonly, you might want to check the broadcast that you're subscribed to, or lastly, your profile settings. So if ever you need to you know, edit your photo, adjust your job descriptions and so forth, or perhaps reset your password, you can come into this area and reset all of that still. Okay, uh, thanks for watching our video and tune in for the follow-up feature highlight videos.